morning, everybody. My name is uh, Tim Shanup. I'm one of the elders here at uh, Catalina Foothills Church. I have at times been confused with Chad Turner. I think I uh, <laughs> am adding to the legend that he's everywhere in the church. It's probably just me walking through the hallway. But uh, I'm here to give us a little bit of an update on the session. Um, it took me a long time to realize the session is really just the group of elders. It's the teaching elders. It's the senior and associate pastors. It's also the ruling elders, which are people like me that were nominated through the congregation, voted through the congregation, and spent a couple of years doing it. So happy to kind of give you an update. Everything is proceeding very well with the church. You know, with the addition of Byron Johns, he's really helped us with the strategic planning that we've been looking for along with our consultant. We're also on track for the senior pastor. That's a question that people have had. We're in the process of interviewing some uh, organizations that will help us recruit and obtain that position, and we're on track for kind of early 2025 for that. So we think everything is proceeding well, but we want to make sure you know who the elders and who the deacons are, and anyone you see with a badge, if you want to ask questions for, we're, we're happy to be here. Also, in terms of the pulpit, um, generally people will come and say, hey, I'm not sure who's going to be preaching today. Uh, we've set it up to where Rob Penley is doing about two-thirds of the sermons, uh, Chad Turner's doing about a third of them, and then they're getting some respites by folks like John Miller, John Tyler, uh, Charles Garland, and that. So uh, it's not done haphazardly. It's not based on vacation. There's six schedules. This is really pretty intentional, and we just want to kind of remind you of that. Some it's all, uh, summer is also a slow time for giving. That's something that we plan for every year, but we also try and make it easy to give. So if you want to give online, if, if there are people that are watching uh, on Zoom rather than coming in and, and uh, bearing the heat, we want to let people know that. But that is a, a typical way that, that happens with our finances. And really just to remind you that the things that we, are, that we do may not always be right, but they're generally intentional. You know, through the years, we, we now don't put the till through the, through the um, rows. There's a place back there to do your tithes and offerings. Uh, and we've done some changes with communion, you may have noticed. We did through COVID, we did kind of the elements in, in plastic and that. But um, recently we made a change. You know, we used to have people go to the stations to receive communion. We're now doing it differently where ushers will come through the, 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 the rows to do that. One of the reasons we just made a change is because we did have a hard time with manpower, you know, having people direct people out of the the rows, uh, elders and others uh, administering the, the sacrament and uh, different stations going at different um, paces. So we have gone back to this, but every time we make a change, I know there's people that love the old way and people love the new way. Um, we're open to any input you all do, but we are trying to kind of have incremental improvement. But I do encourage each of you, if you see anybody that has a badge that you, know, you might be able to ask questions about what's going on or different things, Please, please ask, because we definitely want to communicate, and that's one of the reasons why uh, I'm coming up and doing an update with us.